this is Crystal. Tonight we are making our stuffed meatloaf. Um, stuffed meaning with cheese, mozzarella. Um, yummy, yummy dish. So let's just get into it. All right. So we've got our two pounds of ground beef. And Dump it in the bowl. Okay, then we have our one pound of Italian sausage. All right, and next comes the seasonings side of things. Um, so we do a half a tablespoon of parsley. Or a little extra. Then we do one tablespoon of garlic powder. We do a half a tablespoon of our basil. This can go to a taste. Uh, the kids don't seem to like too much. So, just a half or a little bit less. And then we're gonna need half a tablespoon of oregano. And then, last but not least, we will use about a tablespoon of the, um, like an Italian spaghetti type seasoning. And then we're going to use about one cup of breadcrumbs. It's your choice, whichever ones you prefer. Um, the ones that we're going to use, uh, even though it seems like it has a lot of carbs, once you break it up into serving sizes, um, it's really not that bad. So um, we will put in a fourth of a cup of our Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. Okay. Oops. And now the nasty part. Now we gotta squish it all together, get it all combined in there. I don't like this part, but it tastes good itself. Da -da -da. Almost done. Okay, that looks like it's pretty good. Oh. So 
it should look something like this once you mix it all. And then I'm going to go wash my hands. So now that we've got this all mixed up, we can get it prepared to go into the pan. Um, and this one is uh, stuffed meat uh, meatloaf. So uh, we're choosing mozzarella. Um, our mozzarella that we have right now is less than one gram of carbohydrate. Um, so we just go ahead and use the whole thing. I know there's a difference um, with different places in the carbs. This one happens to be less than one gram. So I kind of like to just chop it in, get it into a little bit smaller pieces so that the cheese can melt fast with your meatloaf and then we're going to put this other half um, it's going to actually go on the top so um, my family happens to put a little bit of marinara sauce in our meatloaf gives it more of a different taste than just a regular meatloaf um, not a lot so we put about about a half a cup. Um, you could even go as more as three fourths of a cup. Um, this pasta sauce that we're actually using, um, you can see for a half a cup, it's 14 grams, and then we have three grams of carbohydrate. So basically, it's 11 grams for a half a cup. Net carbs. So, uh, so yeah, you can just add that in. And then mix it together. Yeah. Not my favorite. Okay, so once you can see that it's the sauce has kind of been absorbed in with the meat, then you can start to prepare uh, your dish to go into your pan. So I have a disposable pan right here, and we just kind of scoop it in there. If you find an easier way to do this, please let me know. But this is the only way that I can get this done. So I just kind of flatten this out. Just not perfectly, just kind of in there. Then I just lay my four slices, four big slices of cheese right there in the middle. And then just kind of roll it like a big meatball. Or a burrito almost, actually. Um, and then, tastes super, super yummy. Kind of form it into a loaf looking shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then a little secret that my grandmother had taught me was when you're cooking a meatloaf, a lot of people have trouble with the middle getting fully cooked. Well, my grandma told me to just poke little holes at the top and you're just you're gonna hit the cheese every once in a while that's perfectly okay just kind of that way it, it cooks it a little bit faster and it gets it gets it done and uh, so then 
you have two choices. You can either skip out on putting extra pasta sauce on top of the marinara, or um, you can just top it with some cheese. Um, I prefer to top it with a little bit of more marinara, uh, just a tiny bit, maybe a half a cup or so, and then put it in the oven. And then, uh, then we'll put cheese on top. But I'll put, I'll do it my way. I guess I should have used the measuring cup, but that's not usually how I work things. So I'm just going to spread this over, give it some of that sauce everywhere. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go wash my hands and we're going to put this in the oven for, on 350 for about 45 minutes or so. Give or take on your ovens. Um, that'll depend on what you have. So I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, so now that the oven is preheat, we're going to put the meatloaf in the oven um, on 350 for about 30 minutes. Then we're going to add the cheese to go on top. Um, and then that'll take an additional 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep checking on it. So uh, let's go put this in the oven. All right, so in 30 minutes, so we're going to chop up the cheese that we're gonna put on top of the meatloaf that's in the oven. So we will just get this chopped up a little. You can use grated cheese. Um, I'm finding a lot of the grated cheese has more carbs. I don't know why, but that's what the label says. So I'm just gonna go with whatever says it doesn't have carbs or is very low in carbs. Okay. So I'm a little ballsy. I can just Put it while it's still in the oven. If you need to, you can take it out of the oven and put the cheese on and then put it back in. I'm just gonna put it back, put it on, so. Mmm, it smells so good. So once that's in there, we just wait for the cheese to get melted uh, and then it's ready to be served. Um, and I do have children, so you may hear them every once in a while. And I do have a husband who is videotaping all the time, so you may hear him too. Uh, but yes, so we're going to wait for that to be melted and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes since we put it in the oven. Um, we are going to take a look to see if it's any good and ready to come out. And it is yummy. So it looks a little covered with cheese, but that's okay. That is what we're wanting. If you don't want this much cheese, you don't have to have this much. It's strictly up to you. So I'm going to have my husband test it and see if it tastes any good. Mm. Oh, 
all that cheese. Oh yeah, so yummy yummies. And we're gonna give a little bite to my husband. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome, baby. Is that good? That's good. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Mm. Okay, so as you can tell, my husband thoroughly enjoyed uh, the meatloaf. Um, we're going to serve it to the kids and see if the kids like it. I'm sure they will. Um, but please, please try this. Let me know how yours comes out. Let me know if you use something different, if you have a better um, ingredient to use. Um, or if you come up with a different idea, please, please like and share this video. Um, and have a fabulous day.